is Troy, and today I'm going to run through using Google Earth with Stack, and I think you'll really, really be amazed, okay? Google Earth is a free download, and you'll find that it is incredibly helpful, especially if you're doing roofing, paving, maybe even landscaping, but let's show you how first to get started. So like I said, it is a, a free download, so if we just type Google Earth download, there we go. I do recommend downloading Google Earth from Google's actual site. So if I scroll down on this page, you would also see it from third parties. I'm sure most are okay, but my recommendation, download it from actual Google's site. And once you do, you will see an icon for Google Earth, and we're just going to click on it to open up. All right, so here we go. In the top left-hand corner, we're going to have a search bar. So this is where you would type in the address of the site. So in this case, I will put our address. There we go. Type that in and hit search. We're going to see the world spin here. And it's going to zoom us into a decent level. Okay. So that's our building. That's, like I said, a decent zooming size. But... We're going to use Google Earth's built-in tools over here on the right-hand panel to zoom us in even further. So I'll kind of start with this slide over here. I'm just going to click just to zoom us in a little closer. You're going to see it's going to kind of set the angle off, and that's okay, because we're going to go up to this top toolbar and then try to spin that to get a nice top-down view. So if it starts to go off the page, no worries. Just hold and pull it down. And again, we're just going to kind of rotate this a little more to get a nice top down view. And that's looking really good. All right, here's the one key point that I want you to remember from Google Earth. Okay, so you know how in Stack we calibrate the scale off a known dimension on the plan? We're going to do the same thing here, but we're going to have to create our own known dimension. So in Google Earth's top toolbar, there is this little ruler. So we're going to click on the ruler. If it brings it up, it's in your way. It's okay. Just kind of move it out of the way. Um, if it defaults to centimeters, you're going to drop that down to feet. And we're going to use this little ruler to create a known distance for us. And it can be anything you want. You know, I could measure from here to here. I could measure from here to here. It doesn't matter, just remember what you measured. So I'm gonna do one click here and then watch over here in this map link, okay? So I'm gonna do one click here, drag that across so we can see, you know, whoa, 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 that's perfect, right at 100 feet. That is what we need to know from the ruler function. And at that point, I can close this down. We're gonna to go to save image. And we actually do this twice. So we're gonna click Save Image here. It's gonna prompt us to save it one more time. Save Image, and now we're gonna choose on your computer where to place that. So we'll call that Work and Save. And at this point, we're done. We're, um, you know, we're good. We can close down Google Earth, hop back into Stack. We're gonna upload that image. And you'll do so just as if it were a PDF or any other type of image file. We'll choose a local file, and then we're going to grab that from my desktop in this case. Scroll down for done, and it's going to start to process through just like any other PDF file that you're used to. The key here is to calibrate. So one quick tip here when I open this up. You're going to see that Google places a legend here at the bottom. Please note that that is for reference. So um, when you're in Google Earth, as you zoom in and out, you know, this may change from 150 to 200, 250, maybe even 240. But you know it's never going to show us like 194, you know, so it's never going to be the precision that we're looking for. And that's why we calibrate. So. We know that our known dimension here is 100 feet. We're going to hit our scale box, type in our known dimension here, click OK, and click those two points. At this point, you know, it's going to give us a funny looking scale, but that is perfectly okay. 
from this point, you know, hop right into takeoff. We could do a complete roofing takeoff here. We could do a paving takeoff. Um, the sky's the limits. You'll be surprised how much you can really do with Google Earth. Again, it is completely free. Just hop into Google Earth, type your address, zoom in to your level to get a nice top-down shot. Use the ruler to create a known distance. Save it to your computer, upload, and then calibrate off of that known dimension that you created, and you will be amazed how accurate this truly is, okay? I think you absolutely love using Google Earth with Stack, and as always, I very much so appreciate your time. Thank you.